Hey guys, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am unboxing a massive Gymshark haul. And if you know me, you know that I am not a Gymshark athlete yet. <laughs> this video is not sponsored. I paid for all of these things myself with my own money. And the question that I'm going to be asking myself is, was it worth it? the money because honestly i probably spent more than i should have i like it, it wasn't a cheap order i didn't just get one or two things i got a crap ton of things and the answer to that question was it worth the money is sometimes no so make sure you stick around to watch my little try on and my opinions on all of these Gymshark items is probably a little bit incongruous with the Australian summer weather but it is a puffer jacket and I got myself one of these because pretty soon I'll be going to America and Canada and I do not own anything in my wardrobe that will provide adequate warmth for me and I really just don't want to be over there freezing my butt up. The next thing I got was this pink pair of flex shorts. I do own um, the, the longer style like this and I also own two pairs of the newer flex which I really love. Um, I just wanted some shorts just for the summertime just because it gets a little bit hot in our gym because there's no proper air con. But just living my best life. All right. Next up is the Legacy Fitness Sweater. It is a bit more cropped than what I thought, and the sleeves are a bit longer than what I thought, but I just thought it was super cute, and I hate hoodies. So I hate jumpers with hoods on them, so I just wanted like a little bit of a jumper without a hood. I also got myself the bottoms and top for the power down. I haven't tried this style before, but I heard that they're just really nice and soft and comfy. And I can definitely tell that they have a lot less compression and they just seem quite nice for loungewear. I love the color. They're sort of, they're kind of like a little bit of a, like a purpley blue, so they're the pants. And then I also got the bra to go with, which is a little bit different than what I recall and a little bit smaller than what I anticipated. It doesn't have any pads, which I'm not upset about, I normally remove them anyway. I did get a size small and it is rather small, but we'll try it on and just see how it fits. Then I got myself another top. This one looks very small, but I hope that it's got like a lot of stretch potential. Yes, it seems to. It is also, everything I got was a small, and this one is the ultra seamless crop in black. And I just thought it was extra cool because of these holes at the back. I'm going to try that one on. And last but not least for this lot, because I got two packages, and this is just the, the big one, the main one, I got the, Hmm. Non-stop crop top in white. I'm going to be completely honest here. When I said crop top, I thought it was like sports bra crop top. This is 
very different from what I thought. And, I mean, I'm not upset about it, but it's just not exactly what I was expecting there. Um, I'll try it on anyway and just see how I like it. And if it just doesn't work for me, I'll send it back. All right, time to try this gear on and give you guys my feedback. So this is the black dreamy vest. I got it in my first order and I ordered it in a size small. And I must say, I wasn't 100% happy with this for two reasons. Number one, as you can see, it is incredibly long. And for a short person like me, that really just does not flatter my body type. And secondly, I feel like the sleeves must be a little bit long as well, because there's a little bit of bagging underneath my armpit area, which you can kind of see. The good thing is the material is extra soft, but I do not rate it. It is a no buy for me. Next up was the white non-stop crop top. This one was kind of a disappointment. I didn't necessarily get what I want. I feel like it looks pretty cute when you're wearing high-waisted pants, but it's actually super tight and kind of doesn't have much give. I think that I will keep it, but I can't 100% say that it was worth the money. It certainly doesn't live up to the rest of the non-stop range. So it could potentially also be a not worth it for me as well. Next up was the new seamless crop. I was super excited to try this because I'd seen all the pictures on the Gymshark socials and I felt like it looked really cool on all the athletes. I got it in a black which I thought would be a nice neutral color. Some of the other colors were a bit bright for me and I must say I really just wasn't impressed with the fit. I got this in a size small which is my usual size and it just seemed like way extra cropped for me and the sleeves just seemed really constricted. I feel like it was a very good stretchy fabric, but it just didn't have the level of give that I was hoping for. I don't think that I would recommend this crop or if you are going to buy it, I would definitely suggest sizing up. Next up is the gray non-stop bike shorts. I was actually super impressed with these. The quality of the pants are top notch. They were softer than even the dreamy pants. I love that they've got all the pockets and the zippers that they're super high waisted and th getting these first is what prompted me to get the non-stop crop but I honestly wish I had spent my money and got more of the non-stop pant range. I was legitimately so excited for this legacy sweater. I don't have any Gymshark jumpers that don't have hoods, so I was super keen on this one. And I've got to admit, I was slightly disappointed. The arms were actually so long, and even with rolling up the sleeves, they're super baggy. I feel like if that's the look that you like, then that's awesome. But also, I knew that it was cropped. I didn't necessarily know that it was going to be this cropped. So I feel like I'm gonna have to be super intentional with what I wear with it. And I can really only wear high-waisted pants unless I wanna show my stomach, which I don't. So I can't say that I really rate this top. I was, however, really impressed with the puffer jacket. When I tried it on initially, I did think that it was actually a little bit too big. Like I said, I got everything in a size small. I felt like it wasn't too bad around the torso area, but the arms were a little bit baggy. Maybe I'm just like a super short armed person, who knows? But I did feel like it was super warm, comfortable. I liked just the neutral black color the neck kind of like annoyed me a little bit but folding it down like this I feel like it still looks pretty cool um, it's got some great little zippers where you can put things in the pockets and I feel like it'll sort of just go with any outfit so I definitely rate this one and think that it was worth the money I also got myself just this basic 
t-shirt which has the Gymshark written in sort of see-through letters on the front of it. This was a happy surprise because I thought that it was going to be cotton but it has a bit more of a stretchy substance in it so that was a great little unexpected one for me. It is like the dreamy vest a bit long but I end up just sort of tucking it into the side of my pants there and that feels a little bit better for my body shape and still looks cool at the same time. This one wasn't too expensive so I definitely think that this one was worth the money. Next up is my Flex Shorts. They're my second favorite range after the Energy Seamless. They're a great fit, a great color, and I would definitely recommend these. They are worth your dollars. Like I said, I love the Flex and these sort of light purpley gray color ones are just as beautiful, super soft. I do have to roll up the ankles, but that's a short girl problem and that's not much of an issue for me. I would definitely say that this set is worth your hard earned dollars. The Power Down was a new range experience for me and contrary to my initial assumptions, they actually fit really well. They're super comfortable, great color. I don't know that they would be fantastic for like super heavy lifting in the gym, but certainly for moseying about and relaxing around the house, I would definitely recommend this range. I did actually forget to film an outro on this particular day, so I just wanted to jump on and say thank you guys so much for watching my video. Even though there were some pieces that I wasn't 100% happy with, Gymshark still is one of my favorite, if not my actual favorite, active wear brand. I love their clothes, the price is really great in my opinion for what you get it's good value the only problem is that oftentimes i have to wait for it to get shipped over which can take a couple of weeks um, i did do a no buy for a couple of months during like sort of the mid to end of 2019 and honestly the only thing that i was craving to buy during that time was active wear so I was able to go without everything else pretty much so easily, but oh my gosh, I love me some fresh active wear and I really do get use out of all of it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly videos. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.